itself. I thought I'd fix that. Let me have a look. Let's get that changed right now. And I thought I'd fix that. Let me have a look. There we go. We ha we now have some audio. So yes, hello, good evening. <laughs> I'm Mr. Gary. Welcome to my stream. It's English speaking skills. We're going to be talking about articles, definite and indefinite articles. What are articles? How do we use them? And what can you do to improve your English skills, whether it be spoken or written, listening or reading? We have it all here this evening, so welcome and uh, I'm pleased that you can join as well. So, well, let's get started. We're going to have a little look at this real simple chart at the moment. Okay, so let me get in straight into it and I'm going to share some information with you that I hope you will find useful. Okay, let's have a little look. And yes, that's the one that we're going to go for. Okay, so we can see here that uh, we have three different words. We have a, an, and the. So let's have a little look at this. Articles. This is a simple mind map. We'll start in the top right hand corner over here and we'll just go there, there we go. Let me zoom that in for a little bit for you. Okay, is there a possessive pronoun? Possessive means ownership, so when something is owned by someone then we could describe that as possessive. So if yes, then usually there's no article. Okay. Does the listener or reader know what I am talking about? If the answer is yes, we could use the for articles. Is the noun uncountable? So we've spoken a little bit about countable and countable nouns in the past on my live stream, and uh, it's certainly a topic that we're going to touch on uh, in future dates, uh, future weeks. So hit the subscribe button, come back, and you'll be notified when uh, when we look at that. Example, water, furniture, or air. And if the answer is yes, then usually there's no article required. So, we go there. Right, let's go over and have a look at the other side of this mind map, okay? Okay, so we go from this one over to this one. Is the noun plural? So the name of the thing, is it many or is it a single item? Well, if it's plural, it means it's more than one. Okay, more than one of something. So we have uh, children, towns, games as an example on this one. If the answer is uh, yes, then no article required. Is it a name? Well, if it's name, then we don't need an article as well here. We can see that. And then it says here, all the previous answers were no. Then if that's the case, then we go yes. Right? We can, we can see how this uh, diagram follows around with the arrows, okay? So we always start up here in the top right-hand corner, and then we follow it down. All right, like this. Then we go to the left hand side and then back up to the top. So we have to think a little bit carefully when we're using a, an, and the, or the, or a. All right, and when we're doing that, uh, there are certain things that we can do to try and improve our English skills. Now there is another version of this, so I'm going to go back to that in a little while. All right, and we use a and an. Those are indefinite articles, so it's usually one of many. If I take this container here and let's pretend all of these pens are red in here, I would say, could you pass me a red pen? I'm not talking about one specific red pen, 
I'm just saying get me a red pen, meaning any red pen in here will do. Okay, but if we say that net, as is the case here, all right, I know that there is a red pen here. So I wouldn't say, could you pass me a red pen? I would say, could you pass me the red pen? Because I'm being very specific about what color I need. Let's pretend that these other objects in here are other colors. Could you pass me the red pen? Is perhaps the correct or the better way to say that particular term. So we'll go through now and we'll have another look at some other things to do with articles. All right. And articles, as I said, they it's a, an, and the. We've got lots and lots of examples. And I'm going to just show you the uh, little bit more complex chart on this one. All right. So we'll have a look at that now. And then we can get drilling down and look at the other items that we've got to look at in this particular stream this evening okay so that's the full one right so let's again start at the top right hand corner we already know about this one but this one's a little bit more in depth as I said okay is there a possessive pronoun my your his etc possessive case okay so that's usually the name of something denoted by the apostrophe and the s or this slash that if the answer is yes again no article does the listener or reader know what i'm talking about the answer is yes we could use the is there a superlative example best most interesting etc is there one thing sorry is there only one thing example a library in a town the moon etc if the answer is yes we can use the alright so the on those three occasions are the most appropriate one then we go down and across as we showed earlier on is the noun uncountable we've already done that then if it's an uncountable no need for the article no ah no the no un all right example uh could you pass me the water we wouldn't say that okay you'd say can you pass me a bottle of water okay we need something to qualify or quantify in that case is the noun plural children towns games etc yes no article on that occasion uh, is it a name? Usually no article, if if that's the case. Name of something. All previous answers were no. Then we should use a or un. Okay, good. I'm pleased that you've got that now. So we're going to have a little look at some other uh, materials that I've got planned for you. And these are just really to summarize what we've done okay so let me have a little look while I do this f with you guys just a moment oh the slides that I up uploaded for this are not available at the moment so let me just see if I can get that there there we go now that the, you've had a look at the mind map, this uh, PowerPoint presentation literally is just the same. It's a very straightforward subject, is this, but there are lots of exemptions. Uh, there can be lots of additions into rules, as you would expect when you're dealing with English. We can have a lot of different... Um, exemptions to the rules etc so here we go let's have a look at this article usage a an and the or the all right lots going on in here this evening so uh, hello if you're joining if you've got anything you'd like me to help you with put that in the chat box and I'll certainly help you out okay let's look at number two 
What is an article? Well, an article, abbreviated A-R-T, is a word, a prefix or a suffix that is used with a noun. Right, a noun, person, place or thing. So once you use it with a noun, then we know what we're talking about. And it indicates the type of reference that is being made to the noun. Okay, so we'll go through that in a moment. Uh, again, if you need any clarification or you're not sure, just ask in the chat box or comments and I'll certainly reply to you. How do we use articles? Well, we are uh, used with countable nouns typically, such as chair, dog, cat, pencil, bottle. Things that we can easily count. That's what countable nouns are. Uh, two types of articles, there are definite and indefinite articles. So in this presentation, I'm going to break it down for you and make it real easy uh, so you can remember uh, more easier. And uh, I've got a little quiz, hopefully later on, I'm going to just check, make sure that that's working before I start the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> live stream is is open to all sorts of trouble so you've got to be checking diligent about that I think definite article is the all right I've just demonstrated there the red pen all right so we use the as the definite article because it's the thing we know the person is talking about and there might only be one of those things available like I just mentioned and demonstrated with the red pen used for very specific nouns not just any pencil but example the yellow pencil as was demonstrated there stand by while I put that on just a moment where's that gone there Maybe I should make that a bit larger for you. That's better. Uh, the blue dog. Well, I've never seen a blue dog, but I'm sure somebody somewhere has made a blue dog. <laughs> um, the black cat. The chair, which is next to the couch. And they can be used with singular objects. Okay, so singular things. The purple scarf or plural the dogs all right example my mum has two dogs so she always says oh I'm going to take the dogs out meaning she's taking both of the dogs out at the same time together which is quite a common uh, thing with uh, dogs if you have dogs at home if you don't well you know whatever your choice is, your preferred animal, your preferred pet <laughs> no problem indefinite articles are the opposite of definite articles so an indefinite article is a and an or a and an All right. a or a is used before nouns that begin with a consonant sound Okay, pass me a dictionary, please. Oh, certainly. There you go. Pass me a pencil, please. Let's pretend this is a pencil. I don't have one to hand at the moment. So we wouldn't say pass me a pencil. Okay, that's the main point here. And this is why we spend a lot of time dealing with pho phonemics, phonics on this uh, channel uh, to help you with pronunciation. And so you can understand that although a word might have a consonant uh, as a starting letter, that sound that it produces might not always be a consonant. It could be a vowel sound. So that's really important. That you remember that. Un 
is used before nouns that begin with a vowel. Okay, so it's not just a vowel, it's a vowel sound. Remember, a vowel and a vowel sound are different. So you could have a word that begins with a consonant, it produces a vowel sound. So think about uh, an elephant. Do we say an elephant or a elephant? Well, the really it should be an elephant there is an elephant on the loose okay uh, used for more general vague nouns hand me a pencil meaning any pencil there we go an elephant a dog a chair an apple All right e or e is a vowel sound a is a vowel sound also so when it's uh, when the starting letter is a vowel sound, use an. Okay, used only with singular objects. Used only with singular objects, and uh, we looks like we've got some chat going on there. Uh, hello, Mr. Hassan. Hello, Sarah. And uh, yes, we've got an hour an hour and uh, this is one that people pr mispronounce a lot they say an hour there's a h there but no no need to pronounce the h in hour okay mm -hmm. it's exactly as um, just delete the h off when you're pronouncing it h an hour okay nobody you don't pronounce that um, used only with singular objects all right, so when it's just one of something, okay? Think of replacing a or an with one. You could do that on some occasions. Also used when first mentioning something. Okay, so if we're mentioning something for the first time, and example, we're writing a paragraph, it could be something like, uh, Mr. Gary went to pick up a blue pen from the stock room. When he returned, he put the blue pen in the classroom and then went to get a drink. When he returned, the blue pen was missing. Okay, so notice how I started that sentence with a, uh, and then as the story developed, I used the, so, or a, all right? A blue pen, a blue pen. Uh, either is quite acceptable in that situation. But when you get, uh, as the story developed, as that little paragraph developed there, uh, it re reverted to the. Okay, because we've got an indefinite article, now we've made it a definite article uh, because we're talking about that one object. And uh, if you join, I don't know if you joined earlier on, I showed a little chart. If the reader knows what we're talking about, or the listener knows what we're talking about, you can use a definite article. Also used when first mentioning something. A butterfly landed on my dog's nose. The butterfly was pink. Alright, that's what we were just talking about. Here, it's referred to as a butterfly. A butterfly. And... Yes, that's right. Yes, Mr. Hassan has got it. He's nailed that one on the head. Uh, we use the f with nouns mentioned for the second time or subsequent times. All right, so third, fourth, fifth, sixth times. Um, if it's an extended piece of spoken or written work, then yes, of course, we, we could use the. Okay, good job. All right, guys, we'll go on then and have a look at the next one when we do not use articles so we do do not or we don't use indefinite articles in front of non countable nouns non countable nouns or uncountable nouns are things that are very difficult for us to count just by looking at them example water is an uncountable noun i always say money is an uncountable noun because without del diving into it and uh, determining it, what it is we don't know necessarily alright and if we think 
back to um, water, for example, we have to quantify it. Okay, yeah, water, milk. And Mr. Hassan talks there about my favourite drink. Cheers, tea. <laughs> Any excuse for a cup of tea, I can tell you. <laughs> um, these include abstract concepts such as happiness, harmony, sadness, irony, justice. Just a moment, I'm just making sure that my that my light doesn't switch off. Um, I, I need a USB extension actually because uh, I've got so many cables all over the place here. <laughs> Love! Of course, we don't count love, I don't think, no. Um, very much, we love something very much. And uh, we don't say love very many, uh, unless we're talking about uh, hatred, yes. Uh, I love the many types of music across the world, I suppose we could say that. But again, we're adapting the sentence there to talk about different, many different things. Um, the definite article can be used if indicating the instance in which it occurred. Example, the sadness she felt at his passing. Okay, We don't use indefinite articles with nouns that described in quantities, as I've just, we've just talked about this. Such as liquids, or large amounts of small solids, such as beans sand and dirt we can however use a definite article the brown dirt the cold water etc so we're gonna need a bit more of a, a description okay a bit of an adjective there to describe uh, the noun then we can change that a little bit names pronouns and proper nouns so nobody calls me the mr. Gary or a mr. Gary uh, nobody calls you a Mr. Hassan, a Mr. Hassan, the Mr. Hassan. Okay, we can't do that. Uh, when being general, I like water. Any, all water. Cats, small as well. Any and all cats. Okay. Right, I am happy. Uh, sorry, I am the happy. I am happy. Yeah, we can't say that. Um, these are the examples that we use as well. Yeah, I mean, we use the with both countable and uncountable nouns. I've got Mr. Sand right. Uh, on that case, in, in certain situations, yes, I would say so. I think it's just a case of seeing just what, what we're talking about. Give me a water. Yeah it's okay but the better way to phrase that would be give me a glass of water uh, the water is cold okay I am happy to see uh, the Susie no we can't say that because it Susie is the name of a girl usually I am happy to see Susie okay so just a little bit of contrast there to uh, explain those differences with the examples some non-countable nouns can take the indefinite article. So this is the bit that we were just discussing. Uh, examples. We came to an understanding. Means two people agreed something. Uh, there's more chat going on in the in the chat there that I can't see at the moment. Yes. Uh, the with both count. The water, the table is pure. Yes, you're right. Absolutely. The name of the location is descriptive and contains a countable noun use a definite article examples the United States of America the University of Houston Clear Lake the writing center uh, of course the United Arab Emirates the United Kingdom uh, those are the country names that might need a, a, a the put placed in front of them as well the Philippines for example um, I would say I'm going to Philippines no I wouldn't say that I would say I'm going to the Philippines meaning a collection of small islands um, 
like the United Kingdom, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, a, a kingdom uh, of th four different countries united under one rule. That's the idea of it. If the name is being described as though it is a countable noun, it can take a definite article. Example, the Clear Lake that I know has lots of good restaurants instead of the place. You are not behaving like the Brandon that I know instead of the person. Okay, so uh, that's a really good example if someone starts um, changing their behavioral patterns then uh, you're not the Gary that I once knew okay example I'm changing that means that I'm changing with age okay and I think I think people do that you know our interests uh, fluctuate over the years we're, we're interested in something for a short amount of time that's right the USA uh, and then you know so we could be interested in something for a short time and then we're not interested in it and then we're interested in it again later on the UAE yes of course yes you're right uh, I'm seeing these coming into the chat right now how to decide in your own writing first look at the noun is it countable or uncountable or non countable in this situation uh, example I want to describe a cat cat is a countable noun Next, decide if it's the first thing or something has been mentioned. If it is, use an indefinite article, er uh or un. Right. Are you being specific about the noun or general? Example, yes, I'm talking about a, a specific cat. Step four, if you are describing a specific noun, use a definite article if you are being more vague and vague means um, you're giving you're talking about something without giving many details or without being too specific and that's called being vague All right. example I have a black cat the cat chased the gray mouse Example with the indefinite article, I saw a cat chase a mouse today. Okay, so some other examples there. Step far, uh, sorry, references. Uh, yes, those are the references there as well. Uh, for some reason, those have been taken from that one. But um, yeah, good job. Uh, I th always think that it's a good idea if we do play a little game and I've prepared I've got a little quiz here lined up from you, courtesy of, I think it's quizzes. I don't know, have you used quizzes before? Uh, there is a, a huge delay on the chat as well. Yes, the UK, there is the Union Jack. I can see that in the in the mobile chat here. I've, I've got the mobile phone down here to my left. Uh, so yes, if, apologies if I keep looking in there. I keep seeing it moving just out of my peripheral vision. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Okay. Let's have a look at this one. Cats are tame animals. Um, you'd be surprised. I'll tell you. If you came here to Indonesia, you would see many feral cats. Uh, those are cats that are not domesticated. Nobody owns them. Um, yet people, some people do feed them cat food. Some people, just like me, totally ignore them uh, because they're feral cats. I don't want to get bitten uh, by a cat. Yeah, cats are, in, in a lot of countries, cats are extremely expensive. Yeah. Here you can literally just go out and pick the kittens up off the street. There are kittens wandering everywhere in Indonesia. Uh, cats all over the place. I mean, they're supposed to be, I think, a guard against the rat problem. You know, rats are all over the world, aren't they? they these rats. And the, the idea was, oh, we'll take the cats to, to get rid of the rats. Uh, didn't happen unfortunately <laughs> that way because people took the cats in oh they're cute I'll have it as a pet and 
Yes, we always use quizzes, so yes, a, a nice little quiz, I think, to um, close out the stream uh, for this evening. Um, as I said, in Indonesia, cats all over the place, you can literally... I've known people who literally just pick up the kittens and take them home with them, because they, they are... Honestly, they are everywhere. You've never seen as many cats as you have in Indonesia. They, I don't know. Do people like them? Do they love them? Is it about the rats? Uh, they're all over the place. And yes, you can get, get the vets and uh, all the rest of it. You take them to um, have their operations. Uh, it's chips. You can insert the chips into them as well. Um, a bit like in other countries so yeah good all right let's have a little look at this one then and uh, let's have a look. I'm just going to move over to this other tab now and I'm just going to see where is it there we go all right hopefully now you're looking at uh, quizzes so I'm gonna help you with this one what's blah 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 date Today and uh, we've got a few, a uh, couple of little examples on this one. Whoops, Daisy! I've just taken a screenshot, and the answer is, of course, it's the. What is? It's not undate. It's not a date. What is a date? An undate today? No, it's the of the date today. What is the date today? Right. Okay. So here we go, we'll try and get to the top. I have got blah 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 mobile phone. Is it the, uh, or un? Well, of course, I've got a mobile phone. Of course, it's just down there. Oh, we're climbing the points rank. My brother is blah 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 captain of the school football tie, f school football team school football team so it's worth talking here about one team and the answer on this one is the well done uh, I can see someone's commented there but I'm not so sure who so apologies for that one number four this is blah 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 photo of my family uh, couple of seconds waiting for the stream to catch up if you get this one this is a very good answer there I think we've got someone new I'm not so sure who this is that's commenting the as well there is blah 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 orange on the table there is blah 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 orange on the table and the answer here is because it's off it's un okay so it's un an orange on the table it's not a uh, it's un for that one and we've got a little boost or a little power up so that's always a good job if we get that thing you okay got it so we've unlocked something this is blah 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 old book this is blah blah oh hello Mohammed Oh, I see. Maybe it's a change in there. This is an old book. Yes, it is. Is it Mohammed Ishmael? Have you changed your name or something? Hello, Palavi. Oh, I'm very well, thank you. I want blah, blah, blah. I scream. Is it an ice cream? A ice cream? A ice cream? Or the ice cream? Which one is it? I'm so sorry Palavi, we're on a time limited quiz, so we're going to go real fast here. And the answer is un, because it is a vowel sound, I scream, an ice cream. You haven't used your 50-50 yet? Yeah, we don't need a 50-50. <laughs> Look at blah blah blah, or man on the beach. Look at blah 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 man on the beach. Is it an man on the beach, a man on the beach, or the man on the beach? The answer is the. I think. 
Yes, because we're talking about one specific man, I think. She's the person's looking at. I've got a cat. Blah, blah, blah. Cat is young. Is it uncat is young? A cat is young, or the cat is young? Palavi says the. Mohammed says the. Let's have a look. Yes, the answer here is the. Good job. We're slowly catching the other one. Blah, 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 woman in the photo is my mum. Answer is... Just waiting now. I'm catching up with the stream. Just a second. Answer is the on that one. It's the. The woman in the photo is my mum. So, um, let's have a look. Yes, I think we'll... We'll cut that quiz there because it's quite straightforward. Uh, there are uh, the reason I love this quizzes is, is is great. It's a bit like YouTube because if you play a quiz about one topic, if you look down here, look, there's a recommended list. All right, so you can go and check out uh, quizzes from other other players, other other creators, people who have created. So we could always try one of those. Uh, you could. You could use the challenge friends option, which is really cool. You can challenge your other friends, create a code, and then you all join and then play together. Or you could just play like we're playing now, playing a one-person challenge. But I've obviously got you guys to help me. This is blah, 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 old book. Uh, yes, I ask a question in the, in the chat box, Palavi, and I'll answer it. Uh, as soon as we finish this quiz, okay? This is an old book. This is an old book. Okay, looks like you, Pete. Okay. I want an ice cream. Oh, this is, they're very similar questions, these, aren't they? I thought they might have some different questions and different uh, difficulties. Blah blah blah, woman in the photo is my mum. I think it's the same quiz, isn't it? It's just exact, it's just shuffled questions. Yeah. Anyway, we'll go through it. I'll ask you a question in the chat, Palavi, and then I'll come to you, okay? My brother is the captain of the school football team. Yes, it's the same football, it's the same quiz, isn't it? Yeah. I've got a cat. The cat is young. We said that earlier. Good. What's the date today? What's the date today? Asking about today's date, okay? And look at that, we're at number one guys. Look at the, the man on the look at the man on the beach, I think we said. How do you learn English if you're a shy person? Well, it's a really good question. You haven't, yeah, we don't need a lifeline. Uh, there is an orange on the table. I'm going to answer that in a moment, Palavi. And there are many shy people out there learning English, so, you know, you're not alone. This is a photo of my family. Okay. I have got a mobile phone. I have got a mobile phone. You're not just blowing smoke. That's like a volcano, isn't it? Explosive. Yeah, so that's quite a straightforward one, isn't it? I don't know if I should... Shall I play some more of these other ones? Do you think they're different or the same? I think if they're the same, then I'm not going to bother. Uh, but anyway... We'll stop that sharing now for the moment. Okay, good job. Right, everyone. So, uh, Palavi asks here, she says, Sir, how to learn English if you're a shy person? And I, I, I said there that people, there are shy people learning English, right? You're not the only one. Whether you're reading, whether you're writing, speaking or listening, um, 
different people learn in different ways and I try to do as much as I can on on my um, stream all right so you'll notice that we've had a lot of listening okay because you're listening to me right now number two uh, you've done quite a bit of reading there believe it or not we've uh, had a little PowerPoint presentation maybe Pallavi when you you can replay the the stream okay afterwards um, up to the point which you joined all right or I saw you joining and you'll see the other things that I talked about uh, there I also think that when people are shy it's it's that that's not something that can easily be changed all right somebody's confidence can build up over years and it depends what's happening in your life all right there might be reasons why you're shy why you're not um, uh, confident or lacking a little bit of confidence and and people people are different unfortunately people are very very different uh, regardless of age where they're from who they are what interests them all right these are things that uh, people find tricky especially if they're shy all right if you're shy and I think just take your time with confidence and confidence building all right it's not something that it's not like a house I can't give you the materials and say build that but what I can do is encourage you to slowly step by step uh, improve your skills all right improve what you do how you do it you listen you join you repeat you follow and the more repetition there is uh, the more confidence you will gain of that I have no doubt so that when that real life situation comes where you want to speak English uh, it's not a problem then you don't get nervous you don't get shy you don't get scared of making a mistake and I mean we I always say to my learners you know mistakes are a good thing because without mistakes you'll never learn I'll never learn all right do you think I'm perfect do you think I haven't made mistakes in my life of course I've made mistakes so you've got to be um, pay less attention to the mistakes that you make I think but when you've made the mistakes then it's time to reflect on that mistake that you made and then that's the learning cycle that's the learning process isn't it uh, how do I improve my spelling skill writing or vocabulary <laughs> hours and hours and hours of practice honestly it's hours and hours of practice isn't it you know the the more you do uh, the better you will become right so I mean uh, if I if I did this um, well we could have we could have a riddles uh, we could do some riddles we could do some more articles and as I say Pallavi you know the more you do and the more often you do it the better you will become all right could you explain the difference between dark I'm not I'm not sure of the question let's have a look uh, so yes sorry about that let me start with Pallavi first so how do you yes yeah, so lots and lots of repetition Pallavi all right lots of games if you you're following my stream so you know there's plenty of games and plenty of quizzes you can be doing uh, in your own time all right you can happily join my stream uh, ask me questions and we can do all these things as well uh, could you explain the difference between dark I'm not sure if that's supposed to be an eye and light I I'm not sure of the question Mohammed uh, so if you want to provide a bit more clarity on that one um, I'm not sure what what uh, what you're trying to convey I, d I don't understand it at this moment <laughs> if if you do decide if you do add more detail 
All right. Uh, just pop it in the chat and I'll uh, happily have a look at that for you. I'll play one more quiz, I think, before I finish this evening, unless there are any further questions. And then we can... Um, I've found another one here. Let's see what this one does. Hopefully they're not the same... Yeah, they're not the same questions by the look of it. Oh, it's got memes in it. So I think if you like memes... I don't know if the questions are the same. I'm going to just check them out. The, yeah, it's the same thing, isn't it? It's just the questions are jumbled up. Uh, and I scream. Okay. This time I'll... Uh, and, you know, now you've done these a couple of times, you'll find that... Oh, I know the answers. A mobile phone. And then suddenly you'll get a lot quicker at answering them because you don't need to read the whole thing. Dark L. He means dark L and light L. Dark L. I'm not sure. I've never heard the expression. I've never. I've not heard dark L as an expression and light L. What? What is that? Uh, oh, hang on. Right. I'm going to check this in a moment. This is a photo of my family. Yeah. Okay. So notice now how I, I hardly need to read these uh, sentences, Palavi, because I'm. I mean dark L and light L. This is an old book. This is an old book, right? Yeah, of course there are many old books around. I'm going to have a look at those in a moment for you. Dark L and light L. Uh, my brother is the captain of the school football team. Okay, yeah. Because we've seen the question before, right? So once you've seen this before... You know, this is what repetition is, Palavi, isn't it? What's the date today? Okay. Oh, right, okay, let's have a look. I, I see what you mean now. Uh, look at the man on the beach. Okay. And already I think we've made it to first against the other competitive, uh, competitors, should I say. Yep, there we go. Okay. Uh, the, there is an orange on the table. Oh, full. Full. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Ull, ull, ull. So, keep the jaw straight. I'll co I'll, once I've finished this, I've got a cat. The cat is young. Okay. When I finish this quiz, we know it won't take me too long because we're nearly at the end. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um... Ull, ull, ull. So it's l. You could say l. Okay. Mm -hmm. Turn at the top. Wait. <laughs> uh, l, l. But on the IPA phonemic chart, it is actually ull, 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 ull. Um, the dark l sound. Normally at the end of words like full. Oh right, so like careful, cheerful, joyful, playful, thankful. Okay, those are words that uh, ended the ul sound. U double U L or U double L, depending on which one you prefer, British English or American English. They can be a little bit different. Yeah, cheerful, playful, thankful careful joyful uh, lots and lots of words on there uh, that we can describe I'm gonna give you some other ones as well uh, yes of course I'll, I'll give you so uh, I've got a load here. I've got let's have a look uh, disrespectful okay uh, for thoughtful <laughs> uh, dessert spoonful crazy word uh, let's go for the, sh the sh slightly shorter ones unsuccessful unsuccessful of course the opposite is successful disgraceful disgraceful something was very bad uh, Ultra careful. <laughs> Eleven letters. 
resourceful, distrustful, res uh, over careful, and there's some other ones there that are a bit spurious. The the ones that you'd never use in normal word, normal conversation. Delightful, insightful. <laughs> I could do an entire stream just about full words, right? The dark L sound comes normally at the end of the words. Yes, I could do a full live stream about these. <laughs> Maybe let's make that tomorrow's topic. What do you think, guys? We'll have a look at these words, these full words, and perhaps because, uh, yeah, there's there's literally a, a good hundred or so or more of those full words so I think it's probably worth a stream on its own uh, merit and what we'll do I think we can agree uh, we can look at the words and then um, I'll try and create a little activity where we put those words into context alright so definition uh, could you send us uh, yeah it, it's it's the same time all right, so I try to start the streams at the same time. Um, that's 9 p.m. local time in Western Indonesia. I think it's about 6 p.m. for you, isn't it? Um, let's have a look. Uh, U yeah, UAE time now is 18.53, so it's uh, 7 minutes to 7. So yeah, we'll I'll start at the same time if that's convenient, and uh, if you want, uh, you know, if you want me to adjust the time, please do say so, and I'll I'll drop a tweet out and uh, try and let you know. Unfortunately, I don't have the YouTube community tab yet. Okay, I am working on it, but they want me to get 500 subscribers to get the the YouTube community tab. At the moment, I'm on three. Uh, the last time I knew, I was on 338 subscribers. Uh, 338 subscribers. Uh, I mean, it's phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, the more subscribers come, the or the more people press that subscribe button or share. Oh, apparently, I'm on 339 now. So somebody's subscribed. Yay! <laughs> uh, so yes of course you can always um, you know once we get to 500 subscribers then I can send something on the YouTube community tab but for now I can uh, always update you on Twitter uh, if you've got uh, I'll show you the screen that I'm looking at and then that makes it easier doesn't it but look um, with a lot of YouTube channels let's have a look um, Yes, the dark L sound, so yeah, we've looked at that. We'll look at the full words tomorrow. That's what I'm just describing now. Uh, could you explain? Yeah, I think we've explained that a little bit. Um, we'll we'll move on to it. Mr. Hassan says, awesome. All right, awesome. Well, of course, you know, I do, I do always try. It's not easy, um, but if you go on my... Uh, page here look there's a little Twitter link just in the top right hand side there okay so just go there it should be there okay I don't know if you've got that um, but I'll, I'll try and post an update on there and let you know about the time of course you'll get the uh, notifications as well I'll just I'll just show you roughly what I see when I see stuff on on YouTube okay so these are the videos I've got published at the moment and uh, these are the lives that I've got at the moment so you know I do pay a lot of attention to these things to, to try and help me grow the channel uh, Mr. Mohammed is my friend who is currently in Egypt oh I see he just subscribed to your channel oh well I do hope Mr. Mohammed it helps I do hope the channel helps. There's lots and lots of videos on there, and I keep trying to make more. Uh, yeah, w official th subscriber count now is three three nine. All right, so we do. Welcome to English speaking skills. I'm Mr. Gary, and uh, 
yeah, we we focus a lot on pronunciation, focus a lot on English. We do a lot of other activities as well. Talk about the different areas of English, vocabulary, confidence building. We've just spoken about that. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the channel. If you've got any questions, whether it be now or later, uh, then of course, just pop them in the chat box. You could always leave a comment as well. All right, if you leave a comment, and I'll see the comments, we'll have a look. Uh, not no comments at the moment, by the look of it. Ah uh, ha! Uh -huh, right. Oh yes. Good. Yeah. So I th there's some comments there that I need to approve, and uh, once those are approved, then of course I will. Um, Draw. I haven't checked those for a, for a good day or two, but the the comments get held automatically. Uh, yes. Glad you. Oh, okay. Yes, lots of those. <laughs> I'll have a read at those later on. Uh, okay, well, that's that's it for this evening's uh, live stream. I hope you enjoyed it, of course. And uh, I'll just put those on there. Yes, he's in Egypt. I'm so pleased. You know, we get we get I get people all over the world joining, so it's great to know where you're from, uh, to le learn a little bit about you. And if there's something specific you want me to look at uh, the chat, you know, to put on the channel or discuss, uh, drop me a comment, uh, drop me a tweet or whatever, and I will try my very best to accommodate your needs as always. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Hassan, as well. He he's put there. Thank you, and uh, Miss Mr. Mohammed there uh, for joining us. Uh, thank you very much for joining. Thank you so much for subscribing. All it's always appreciated. I'll end the stream right now. Thank you so much for joining. Take care, and I'll see you all hopefully tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye bye.